What's going on everybody? Mike Gun, Gun Landscaping. You're watching Get It Done With Gun. Hey, I wanted to do a quick shop tour just to show you some progress we got going on here at the new shop. I uh, say new shop, we got it last year, so. week back at it went pretty well a little bit of rain but uh, we got through it didn't work as much as we would like to but we got through it anyways so we got a uh, the enclosed trailer there you can see more about that trailer in the inside of it um, on my epic 2018 uh, lawn care setup there so there's that trailer still got it I'm getting ready to wrap it as soon as I get a chance here maybe this weekend so then we got a 7x14 dump trailer uh, that's a uh, bought that up at TC Trailers and uh, what is the name of that brand of uh, Griffin? So there you go, max load 10,000 pounds. It lifts 10,000 pounds. I believe it'll carry 14. So yeah, so I've got a little bit of dirt in there right now. Hopefully it'll get any rain. Otherwise I need to tarp that. And uh, still got our salt in the back of the truck here. Gotta get that unloaded. But got a lot to do. So this is our F450 that I wrapped. You can see this truck. Uh, I think I did a video on this one. I'll link it here. And uh, yeah, it's working out well. Um, it's only got like 80,000 miles on this truck, which isn't bad for a uh, the uh, six seven, I believe, is in this one. So diesel, and uh, not a bad truck. The bed's pretty rusted out, but it works. It's a landscape truck, you know. Can't be too pretty. So that's that truck. I did put some toolboxes on the other side there, and I'll get more in depth about this truck and everything I've done to it in the past year. Uh, I've done a lot to it to make it a little bit more efficient and mainly the back of the cab on this truck just ends up being tool storage so kind of works out nice but anyways this is uh 7 by 18 i believe yeah 7 by 18 utility trailer that we use for just about everything just nice to have and uh we haul a lot of different things on here um yeah and those those rails there pull off there and everything else I do have a video on this on my initial landscape setup to start last year before I got the dump trailer so had a dump trailer in the past but this is a new one so and then here uh, let's see we got uh, the uh, 2006 Silverado I'm sure if you watched any of my videos you guys are probably wore out on seeing that truck that truck's just my baby man I love that truck but got some new meats on her this winter I haven't really mentioned that in these videos too much but uh, those are Goodyear Wranglers and uh, worked out really well in the snow. So, did uh, do have the uh, seven and a half boss plow for this truck as well that's uh, in the shop. So, and then of course a dumpster and a tank and a ramp. Yeah, so this is pretty much the outside. So let's go take a look at the inside. And then that's my truck over there too. All right, so what we got going on in here is uh, typically the Ford and the Chevy can park in here uh, through the weekend, stuff like that. Maybe not every day during the week, but uh, in the weekend, on the weekends, we can park them inside. And uh, you know, I typically try to keep them inside every night. Now that we're getting a little bit more organized again, uh, we can keep them inside and uh, out of harm's way and keep the tools loaded in the trucks. Helps out that way so we can keep everything loaded. So. Like I said about tools being loaded in the trucks, not very many hand tools are up there right now because they're all in the trucks. So, uh, yeah, I got a little whacker uh, tamper right there. What else we got? A random pallet and a tiller, a little Cub Cadet tiller. I've had that sucker for going on nine years. Um, heck of a tiller for the price. I mean, I think I paid like 400 bucks for that thing, brand new because somebody returned it or something. I cannot quite remember, but I know I didn't pay full price. So then we got uh, our TGS 600 that still needs to be washed off from our little salt vent earlier this week. And then we got the TGS 1100. Um, didn't use that sucker as much as I did. Um, uh, you know, I used to uh, this year because I had this little guy and it just proved to be a lot handier for these little events. Then I've got a uh, Hanneker V plow here. Uh, let's see, what is this? Eight and a half, nine, nine foot, something like that. 
It's got the taller wings on it there. A beast of a plow. It goes on the 450. Then I've got the seven and a half Boss uh, uh, Standard Duty played for the uh, 06 Silverado. And uh, I'm sure you've seen that in a few other videos. So that's that. This is the outside. We've got our office over here and uh, some random storage up top. You can see the truck cap up there that I need to just get rid of and a bunch of random stuff. Planter pots for customers, stuff like that. Random stuff that we don't need to get to every day. Then we've got the new shelving area and been organizing it. Still needs a lot more to be organized. Um, I've got this old fertilizer spray over here. I get in here with that fertilizer spray, but we've got our chemical cabinet here. Um, decently organized, needs to be stopped up. And uh, let's see, we got fuel cans and all kinds of random stuff on these shelves. Most of this stuff's old equipment or whatever that we don't use every single day. You know, it's not gonna be on the truck, but uh, it's here if we need it. Um, you know, I got a saw there. Can't know. You know what, I need to turn on the light. Got the saw over there and uh, is it gonna come on? Yeah, okay, helped a little bit. And uh, let's see, oil down there, uh, two cycle oil, you know, more gas cans, just random stuff that we need to get to on a whim and uh, needs to keep, or we need to, we need to keep it organized and uh, in plain sight so we know where it's at when we go to look for it. So uh, I'm trying to get more organized with this shop. Uh, so we're getting there, we're making progress. And uh, this is part of that progress. So not everything's down here yet. I still got like hedge trimmers, stuff like that up at Pop Shop, uh, getting them tuned up and ready for the season. But yeah, we're getting there. So, and then also over here, I'm gonna build a workbench with like a vise on it, things like that to sharpen our blades and chainsaws and all that. And I've got this little countertop right there that I'm gonna build it with. So just haven't got to it yet. And then with those cabinets up there, so. Uh, a little mini fridge, plenty of stocked up on uh, stocked up on water. Uh, we got the old snow blower here. Actually, that's brand new. Uh, had one issue with it this winter. This is a, another random little thought, but uh, lost a bolt. So what do you do? Well, when you're out blowing snow, yeah, just go find what you have in the truck. And uh, well, we had some twine and some zip ties, so it worked, and uh, it's still working. So. Uh, I got an old billy goat leaf vac here and don't really use it that much, mainly in the fall and not even that much in the fall, but uh, it is here taking up space uh, in all of her glory. So now we got for the grand finale, the office. So we did build this office in here when we first moved in last year and I just now got around to actually finishing it out like I would like it to be and uh, still a few little things to do, but overall, it's there. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I do have um, a gal that works with me, and her name is Peg, and she's a landscape designer and accounts manager. So, she does a lot of the things that I just don't have time to do when I'm out there running crew or whatever, just running around, and it really helps out. So, she kind of wears all hats like I do, but, she used to own her own company back in the day and uh, for the past eight years she's worked with me and it's worked out really well and this is her area here uh, yeah I, i'm not gonna go much into what's on the desk you know what i mean but works well and uh, then this is my area over here uh, we have a whiteboard up there mainly just for throwing thoughts out there and getting them you know we're, we're peg and i both are both picture oriented people you know what i mean um, so it works well for us to be able to actually see it as we get the schedule and things like that put together this time of year that that's kind of what we're working on and uh yeah got a little salt lamp there i mean come on you know and then monitor you know keyboard all that usually I, my macbook hooks up right there and it's in the truck because i'm getting ready to leave here so yeah i mean some stuff like that up there a lot of stuff's outdated but uh, licenses and all that and just you know Everything you typically find in an office. Uh, TV, looks like we got the radar on right there for now. And then this old fireplace, which is pretty much junk because it's pooping out on me. So that's pretty much the office. Uh, I did paint it, you know, and uh, 
put these orange cabinets up that I've had for a little while and uh, just getting it put together and I think I've talked about this in a few other videos prior to this one I just don't know I've been recording a lot lately and I just haven't had the time to edit and put it up so uh, I've got a lot of content to share guys I just haven't had the time to freaking sit down and do it I've been busy so this time of year man it just gets nuts you know when we start up with the landscape maintenance we've been on this installation job um, for the past couple of days is because of the rain and uh, we got another installation next week and then after that I mean it's two straight months of mulch every single day six days a week so then we uh, do mowing and all that so I had to branch out this year and uh, run you know at least two crews full-time possibly three we'll see how far we can we can go but uh, definitely looking to grow back up this year I know I haven't explained much about my past, but I used to have two crews uh, every single day. And that shrunk down to just me and one other guy for a couple years. That's a big story that I hope to share soon. But uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to hear stuff like that, because I got a lot of it, dude. All right, so here's what we're looking at with the trucks in here. So obviously it's pretty jam-packed full, but uh, that's okay. I'm using my space wisely that I'm paying for, right? And uh, also keeping my trucks in out of the weather time. Out of the weather time? Out of the weather <laughs> when they're not in use. There we go. So uh, yeah, I know as I grow here into this space more, I'm not gonna be able to keep these trucks in here any longer as we get more vehicles and more equipment. I mean, obviously the trucks aren't gonna be able to be parked inside, but hey, I got room to grow and I got room in the shop when we're not using it to jam the trucks in here. So uh, I'm gonna keep them in out of the weather as long as I can. So that's a wrap guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care of the things that take care of you, right? That includes your tools, your trucks, and uh, your family. <laughs> Peace guys.